Hey y'all, welcome to the beginner's guide to Neo 2. So there's a couple things I really wanted to touch on when it comes to this game. Um, because there can be quite uh, a learning curve um, if you're not familiar with the game. Um, and even me being familiar with, uh, you know, Neo 1, um, you know, it had been a while since I played Neo 1. Why I didn't replay it before this one came out, I'm not entirely sure, but there was a lot of things that I had to get used to again. Um, so even me coming back to Neo, um, you know, it was a learning curve. Um, so there's a few things I wanted to touch on that uh, might be able to help you guys getting started out in Neo. Um, these are things that I think are almost a necessity to the game. Um, like if you want to have fun, um, I, I mean I guess you could have fun no matter what, but um, in my opinion I didn't start having fun until I got back in the groove of Neo and started paying attention to a few things. Um, <clears throat> so one is the build that you're going for. Now, when I started out, I, uh, if anybody's been watching my let's plays, I was going to go with, um, the dual hatchets as my main, um, or the, uh, switch glaive and do kind of a magic build kind of out of the norm for me. I'm not big on like the magic builds or anything like that. Um, so I would say uh, two missions in, uh, two main missions in, I switched to deciding to go with a ninja build. Now with a ninja build, um, there's a few things like when you're fleshing out your build that you want to focus on. Now for me, um, since I want to build a ninja build, obviously I'm going to be a little bit lighter. Um, I'm going to use a lot more quick attacks, uh, things of that nature. I decided to go with the Kurosagama because um, it scales with um, skill and it uh, scales with dexterity. Now, I was already dumping points in the skill, so it kind of worked out for me that I had already dumped some in there so I was already working on on a skill type magic whatever build um, before I decided fully on a ninja um, so these are things that you want to pay attention to um, you know obviously the weapon choice that you go with is gonna kinda define the way you play the game um, so you know, make sure you're paying attention to what weapons you're going to go with and build your character around that. Um, so we have strength, skill, and dexterity. Now it's a D plus in strength. So I'm not too focused on strength. Um, I'm more focused on skill and dexterity. And dexterity also helps with ninjutsu. Um, which is, you know, a big part of the ninja build as well. So just something to keep in mind. Make sure uh, whenever you're starting, you know, that you check out all the weapons. See which one feels the best for you. Go to the dojo, play around, um, and really decide on which weapon you think you want to go with. Um, I guess, you know, maybe late game you can probably swip swap a lot, just like I did. Um, I bounced between that skill magic type build. Um, <clears throat> thankfully I didn't dump any into magic yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that that's the first thing. Um, let's see, uh, gear tips. So I uh, was kind of already talking about that with the build, um, with your character build out. Um, if, as you can see, this is probably the only uh, piece of heavy or weight armor that I'm using. Um, the foot soldier's hat. Uh, and I just strictly because I like the look of it. Um, the rest are all really low weight. Um, and I will show you. Let's see. If you look 
on the left all the way at the bottom um, it shows my agility at an A um, now that is the fastest agility and that's why I'm keeping it all light clothes um, I like to be able to move around real quickly dodge um, I'm not super big on blocking so I'm mostly dodging and and uh, you know brute parrying um, the burst attacks the burst parry um, now there are four levels of equipment weight and agility so I have a um, if I put something a little bit heavier on it'll bump me up to a B um, which is still pretty good uh, I'm not gonna lie I mean it's still pretty good but I'd like to keep it as quick as possible um, and then next one up would be the C and that would be like if you play Dark Souls almost like the equivalent of like a fat roll I would say um, and then there's the final uh, D rank which is just a, a full-on beefy boy um, now I mean you could do that if you want if that's the build you're going for and you're gonna like use one of those giant uh, I forget what they're called uh, swords in the game I don't even know if I have any I don't um you know if that's what you're going for then that's what you're going for you know beef up your defense and just trade blows you know try and out out hit them i do a strength build something similar in in dark souls all the time you know i'll trade blows with people i rely on stagger um so just something to keep in mind um, when it comes to your gear um, also you can also see um, for each set of gear there are different uh, special effects um, for each one now some of these I will show you like for the first samurai curious and this demon horde curious they have uh, their own special power uh, demon incarnate um, it's a set bonus so if you look here if you're wearing two pieces you get a life drain melee uh, three pieces you get another bonus four pieces five pieces so on so on um, really nice if you can find certain sets like that uh, right now I'm going with the shinobi there is no real necessity uh, for wearing all of the certain one the only thing that I really get out of all of them is I get that uh, ninjutsu power um, and these can be altered too um, some of them can be altered I'm gonna briefly touch on the forge a little bit um, but I, the forge listen I'll spend an hour in that forge and not even realize it just optimizing my armor and uh, trying to get all these just right so like if you see here um like i kept rolling the dice for these i got the treasure sensor and uh increased melee damage against a poison enemy um so my character relies heavily on poison tactics so i'll be poisoning my enemies and then i get that extra 21 percent uh extra damage against that enemy so like uh your stats gear stats and stuff like that are super important you want to be paying attention to that um, I've definitely stuck with some lower defense uh, armor specifically because of the special effects of the lower defense armor because I felt um, that you know I would rather sacrifice the defense because I'm trying not to get hit anyway I'm not necessarily blocking or anything um, I'm wearing really light armor so like if I get hit it's gonna hurt no matter what so uh, that doesn't really phase me I'm really going for the special effects I uh, see there I got the shuriken and kunai damage uh, buff there more ninjutsu power ninjutsu power um, dodge key consumption negative 2.8% because I'm moving around a lot uh, tenacity over time so that like keeps uh, anything that happens to me over time um, like burn effect uh, prevents my health from reaching zero when afflicted with status effects so like burn poison etc um, faster window recovery so if I run out of key or stamina um, 
stamina they call it key um I, i'll get it back quicker so these are things that you really want to focus on um and, and make sure that you really pay attention to that because it really makes a difference in the game uh, so next up uh, stats which I was kind of already touching on a little bit um, let's see let's just go right into the status um, now like I said before um, I'm focusing mainly on dexterity so these are that's why I'm running the Kusara because it scales uh, the best with dexterity and it's just a badass weapon. Like, seriously, I kind of fell in love with it. Um, I ran dual swords in Neo 1. I never really tried the Kusaragama. Um, now I am, and wow, I am just blown away. Um, so, as you see, though, dexterity, it affects the effect effectiveness and capacity of your ninjutsu. So, and weapons mainly affected is the Kusaragama. So, obviously, I'm focusing heavily on my ninjutsus and my Kusaragama. Which is why most of my armor, you know, I'm getting that extra ninjutsu, 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 plus 15, plus 10, whatever. Um, and then my secondary, um, which I was already dumping into, um, was skill. Um, I have some points dumped into stamina, um, because it was affecting my equipment weight. So I kind of wanted to get that up. Initially, I was going to run a heavier build. That's why it's up a little bit higher. Um, so I really kind of screwed myself with not committing to a build early on. So uh, again, I can't stress that enough. Like, you make sure you pick your build. Um, I dumped nine points so far into Constitution. We started out at a five, so I dumped like four in there. Um, it affects your life, so I mean, I can't. I'm not gonna be mad. Can't be mad at getting extra life. Um, and then I dumped, I believe, one into all these other ones that are at a six um, mainly because when it comes to your stats now certain uh, armors are gonna require you to be at certain stats um, I believe most of them early on are gonna be around the six so I got everything up to at least a six before I started dumping everything else just so I could make sure I could wear the armors that I wanted to um, and not have any restraints at any time um, later in the game it may some of the requirements may go up um, depending on you know how heavy or light or whatever kind of armor you're using it may require more of that skill so just make sure you're paying attention to that um, and it, it, you can at any time um, when you're anywhere in the menu on Neo 2 you can see down there at the bottom options help and if you hit that, um, it might be a different button for you. However, you have your setup. Mine is the uh, you know start options button. Um, it'll bring this up, and it will tell you you know affects your life and your resistance to poison and paralysis. And then it tells you what weapons are mainly affected. Um, sword and bow for your heart. Uh, tomfas for courage. Axe and hand cannon for stamina. So. Um, these are things that you want to be paying attention to like as you can see like I have 21 into dexterity if I would have started out the game with this build already in my head and fleshed out and ready to go then it probably would be higher I'd probably have a little bit less in skill maybe um, maybe a little less in stamina I'm not entirely sure maybe eh, I don't know um, but I probably have a lot more in the dexterity. Um, and then from there, I'd have to look at the soft cap. I want to say, I think mostly everything is a 30 soft cap. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look into it. Um, but maybe once I get to 30, then I'll start filling in some other things and working on some other things. So just something to keep in mind with that. Uh, and skills 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 um now skills oh let me tell you just how unbelievably important some of these skills are um and i would certainly say now this is one of the things i forgot about neo 2 and i would 100 percent say without a doubt that these skills are crucial to the enjoyment of the game 
Um, so whenever you, whenever a yokai enemy uh, creates a, a, the dark pools, the impurities, and you can key pulse on them to get rid of them, you have to hit R1. Um, the first skills that I'm going to touch on make that kind of just uh, so much easier. So you have uh, ch -ch -ch running water heaven is one running water man and then running water earth now these skills will make it so instead of having to stop and hit r1 a dodge will trigger that key pulse as long as you do it at the correct timing this is so unbelievably essential i just can't stress this enough um other ones to note is flux so now flux is if you stand or, or you change your stance at the same time a key pulse would go off um you get a nice chunk of your key back um so it's it's especially whenever you're like running low on key and you're in you know at the end of like a, a barrage on an enemy and you're you're out if you do this you get that back you can dodge out quick enough um it, it takes a little getting used to i'm not gonna lie um because the combat i mean like stuff like that's kind of complex to remember um but once you get used to it oh it is a beautiful beautiful thing to have your stamina back uh so fast now i'm working on the increase um flux too but i would say that these are essential um, and that's just the samurai tree. Now you have trees for shifling. Another one I'll touch on is the ch -ch -ch, uh, burst counter brute. Um, well, burst counter that I use brute mostly. Um, you have the other um, shiflings that you can, you know, spirits that you could turn into. Um, I prefer the brute. I feel like the counter on the brute is a little better for my play style. Um, what is it? Yeah, that one kind of has like a dash forward almost beforehand, whereas the brute is just kind of like the immediate right in your face bitch slap. <laughs> I really kind of like that. So that's first. Um, it will go over that training with you, but like I cannot stress how important it is to be able to get these off um let me see just make sure that you're really taking a look at the different skills and you're putting them in according to your play style don't let anybody um you know try and tell you how to play if, if you're comfortable and it's working for you you know, double down on your play style. Um, take a look at them, see what they all say. It's highly, highly, highly important. Um, skill tree, another skill tree I use is ninja, obviously because I'm a ninja build, but even if you're not a ninja build, um, there are a few things that you could get that are just good to have. Um, one of them's catwalking, so, or the tiger running, whatever. Um, tiger running it increases your top speed so if you're doing speed runs things like that um, makes it a little bit easier sneak attack Ugh. being able to backstab is life-changing for a build like mine um let me see Ch -ch -ch -ch. cat walking there's the cat walking um this makes you virtually silent i mean they can't hear you um and then the thief scroll makes you like basically invisible i wouldn't say 100 percent. you can't bump into enemies and shit like that um but it does make you invisible for a short amount of time slightly invisible less able to see you i don't fucking know um let me see so yeah um i feel like i touched on the main ones that i feel like are probably essential um key pulse final blow these are things that i believe you get or already have early on um so yeah just just make sure you're paying attention to these things 
Um, and last but not least, I will briefly touch on the forge a little bit. Like I said, the forge is super, super in depth. The blacksmith is just unbelievable. Um, there's so much going on here. Um, the one thing I wanted to touch on um, is basically what I was saying before. Now, you can roll and see how I can change this if I wanted to. Melee key consumption critical. I could swap that out at the price of an Umbersite and some cash. Um, Umbersite you can get by exchanging or breaking down your weapons um, so you could disassemble them. That's also how you will get the things that you need to craft weapons. So as you can see there, um, I have all, all purples, baby. Yeah. Um, so like if I wanted to make this Mino Uchikatana, um, there's a 33% chance if I make it with all of the purple materials that there, I have a 33% chance of having, you know, uh, a, a legendary, whatever the fuck they call it, um, arm or sword set, whatever the hell. Um, and it goes the same thing with weapons, armor, all that. And how you get that is disassembling the weapons that you already have or that you pick up. Um, I'm going to disassemble this shit. And as you can see, it tells you what you can get if you disassemble what um, over on the side there. Um, you can also buy and sell, so if you need some cash, you can go through instead of breaking down your things and actually sell them. Um, if it tickles your fancy to do so. Um, now, like, I don't want to get too deep into the forge, um, because there's just so fucking much. Um, but the biggest thing for me has been tempering. Um, I spend a lot of time tempering trying to get the you know just the right thing now one thing to note um once you change it um there will be a new list there so there will be new things to pick from so like sometimes i'll like if i don't like what i have i'll pick something else just to clear the ones that are in there to get a new list so that i can pick from something else that i might actually that might actually be helpful to me um, let me, let me kind of demonstrate on something I'm not using. So, well, I'm not using this shinobi hood. So, paralysis resistance. I don't give a shit about the paralysis resistance. I want the Kadama sensor. So, I'll put that on there. Now, look. For some reason, I have Kadama sensor again. That doesn't always happen. But now I have other things to pick from. Other realm resistance, I don't want that. I want, well, I don't want to keep wasting my armor site, but you get the idea. So, um, I might make a video on the whole forge. Um, if, if you guys find this helpful, let me know down in the comments. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, other than that, uh, I think I talked about everything I wanted to. If you have any more questions, like I said, you can drop them in the comments. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a good one. Uh, BTDS out.